Hey y'all, welcome back to another episode of Fancy Pants TV. Thank you for clicking on my video if you are a current friend. And if you're new to clicking on my video, hey, my name is Shamaya. And this is my little dog, Pico. He's only here because I have this in my hand. I have a cold brew with caramel macchiato and caramel whipped cream. He's only here because of the whipped cream. He thinks he's gonna get some, but he's not. Get my little daily little shot of energy. Just right. So today in this video, oops, excuse me. So today in this video, I'm going to be going to be. <laughs> oh, you smelling my breath? Trying to smell the whipped cream? <laughs> yeah, yeah, a little bit. There you go. <laughs> Leave me alone now. So today in this video. I'll be reviewing a few things that I got from this store called Once Upon a Child. It's a resale shop for kids clothes, baby clothes, toddlers, you know. I <laughs> just hang up at this point. Oh God. Yeah, I did. I'll try again later on today. That's a text message. Anyways, so this store it's called What's Upon a Child. It's for kids resale clothes. So people bring in their clothes and they sell them to the shop, gently used or brand new things. Let me show you the bag. This is the big bag. I got that. And then I got this little thing. This little thing too. So I'm gonna go ahead and review and show you guys all the cute little things that I got for our baby. We are having a girl. Her name is gonna be Penelope. We call her Baby P. Baby P. And I have about six more weeks to go. I am 34 weeks and two days today as of June 14th. My due date is July 24th, but she may come early. But I want her to come when she wants to come. I want her to at least stay until 37, 38 weeks until she's full term. Because right now she only weighs about five pounds. And like I do have an app. Well, my husband has an app that we keep track of every week. So right now I'm on 34 weeks. So it'll tell you like the symptoms, like your body changes, how much the butt, the baby weighs, the length of the baby, blase, blase, blase. So right now she's only about five pounds. We're guessing she is gonna be about at least eight pounds. I know some people that have had 10 pound babies. And with my little body stature, I don't think I can push out a 10 pound baby. And I do not want a C-section at all. That terrifies me. <laughs> Excuse me. Excuse me. And right now, one of the top symptoms that I'm dealing with, sneezing is one of the weirdest symptoms I deal with on a daily basis. I mean, it could be because of the pollen in the air, because I live in Texas and then it's still springtime. So, it's everywhere. It's on your cars, trees, dogs. Even when you walk into your house, it's on your doorknob. So that's a weird little symptom that I have. Also, shortness of breath is a major symptom. Walking from my office to the kitchen or just to my car, I'm out of breath. Enough about that. Back to the video to reviewing all these cute little things. This is Once Upon a Child. Sell by Repeat. That's their logo. Their slogan. So 
So what I need, I do have a lot of clothes already. I have a lot of onesies, a lot of dress up little things. I have like all the basic things already. I have bottles, sterilizers, swings, rockers, baby safety mirrors when we're in the car. I have bathtubs, I have a photo album, I have baby backpacks, I have a car seat, stroller, huge teddy bears in the back. <laughs> thing. Right, there, she, there he is. Huge teddy bear in the back. It's so cute. And then I have the car seat. I've been practicing on the car seat on how to adjust the straps and you know how to put the baby in the car seat. Because some people don't know. I'm with some people. I never really had to deal with a baby before. I know my brothers, they have nieces and nephews, but I've never really had to babysit them when they're <clears throat> when they were babies. Excuse me. Notification. Nothing. So I never really had to deal with I never really held a baby, fed a baby, changed the baby diaper. Pretty much at all. So this is all gonna be a new experience for me. I mean, I know I'm gonna have tough, rough days, and people are saying take you need to take a parenting class. I mean, I don't feel like I need to take a parenting class at all. We've looked up like different baby motions, like when the baby needs to be fed, how their hands are, and how they are when they're full, or Who's that out there? Or when a diaper needs to be changed. It's like all the basic things. The only things I'm worried about is like when the baby gets sick. You gotta take the baby to the doctor because you don't know what's wrong with the baby. Because the baby can't tell you. That's the only thing I'm really worried about. Otherwise like feeding, changing diapers, burping. All the little basic things I'm not really worried about it. Staying up all night, crying. I'm gonna get used to that. Because that's what babies do. I don't think we should waste any money on going to parenting classes. Otherwise, I can YouTube one and watch it for free. i probably do that like later on when it gets closer to my due date. Or like when I'm not doing anything around the house. So, the things that we do need, like clothes-wise, are like little baby sleepers. Like when she goes to sleep, she needs to wear, you know, little snuggly little things like so. So at their store, stuff is like really cheap, like three dollars, four dollars, two dollars, dollar fifty. Then they have clearance sales some days where you can get fifty percent off for four fifty. Do the math. And then these are name brand things too, like Carter's. So this thing probably costs at least about ten dollars, and I got it for half of four dollars and fifty cents so what's that two dollars and twenty five cents and it's brand new pretty much so that's cute that's one little thing i got another one that's cute little hearts on there we pretty much got everything like from zero to three months because we really don't know what the size of the baby's gonna be how big she's gonna be but she can always grow into everything. So that's another one. That was on clearance too. Five fifty. So fifty percent off of that. What? Two twenty five. Got another one. And of course, when you always re go to the resale shop, you wash everything before you put it on, even for yourself. So this shirt right here, this shirt is about. This shirt right here is a resale from, I think, Plato's Closet, like, from, like, four years ago. Everything's still intact. The color's still intact. And just, all you gotta do is just wash it, and then you wear it. I ain't got time to be spending money, big money on things like clothes. Clothes shrink. Clothes fall apart. And then you want new clothes next week. Put your brain to work. Don't waste money on expensive shirts. Shirts be cost them two hundred dollars from like Gucci, Versace, Prada, Louis. What for? It's gonna shrink anyway. 
But anyways, who can guess who this is? If you can guess below who this is in the comments below, I'll send you a gift. I'll send you a prize. Cause this is for the 1990s babies. 2000s, 2010s, they probably would never know who this is. <laughs> My husband picked this out. This is a cute little top. Cute little top. And this is from Carter's also. So this is a six months. That's six months. And then we got these cute little swaddler things that are cute. Got little unicorns on them. <laughs> uh, what else? We got another swaddler. Got another little fun jumpsuit. That's cute. It's purple. <laughs> and this is from Jimbery. And their clothes are pretty expensive too. We got this cute little dress. That's cute. Cat and baby cat and jack. And that was on clearance. Also. It buttons from the bottom. We go to Target and spend like twelve dollars on this. We spent what? Two dollars and twenty-five cents on this. Wait, there's more. <laughs> there's another little warmer swaddler so when she goes to sleep or takes a nap during the day an elephant and this is for all ages this is kind of big though but we'll see how she fits in there so that so this was about well how much was this five dollars fifty cents Regular price of this is probably like 20 something dollars. <laughs> Not me. Not for baby clothes. All they're gonna do is just throw up and piss and poop on it. And that's it. <laughs> that is, that's about it. I don't got time to be spending extra money. Only thing I'm worried about spending money on, like saving money to spend money, is like formula. Just in case. I can't do you know the normal feeding but with formula because it is still a formula shortage out here people are really going through it and I'm like I'm speaking to my husband and he's <laughs> about at the time that I don't know this video just keep stopping stop camera anyways I was speaking to my husband about the formula shortage and like, babe, after all these years that we've waited to have a kid, formula is out. And that terrifies me. People are crying on TikTok. So I can't find my baby's formula, this and that. And he's always been the man that really just tells me, babe, it's going to be okay. It's going to be okay. We're going to find the formula. Even if we have to order it off Amazon or go to another city or get it delivered to us. You know what I mean? Delivered. Because one thing that his mom does for his brother, if she sees if she sees the formula in the store for their new baby, their baby is three months old. He's so cute. But she does this. She goes to the store. She looks around. And if she sees the formula, she brings it to the brother which is good which is great that's great that's a great family thing to do I don't think really some people don't really think about going to that extent to help someone out but I really love his mom for doing stuff like that so I feel like if we needed help like that and we couldn't find formula in Dallas she lives in Houston, like Houston, Dobbin, Montgomery area. She would send it to us. <laughs> and that's a great, that's a great mom that will do that for us. Just to make sure our baby was taken care of and well fed. I don't believe some people would do certain things like that. They'd be like, oh, I hope y'all find it. I hope the formula shortage is... It ends by the time you <laughs> deliver the baby. 
that's not the correct answer. The correct answer is, oh, if I see it in the store, I'll pick it up for you. I'll bring it to you. Or you can come get it. I'll be here to help you out. No matter what. But that's a different story. That's the way it should have been done. Should have been said. Not the other way around. Anyway, so this is another sleeper. This is so cute. I'm in love with like little unicorns and things like that. What size is this? Looks pretty big. So zero to three months. That's pretty big. Well, we never know. Our baby could come out a little tiny. Or she could be long or she could be chunky. We always joke about that. She could be a Michelin baby. But we'll see. We still got time. What else do we have? Got this little cute little romper thing. This is so cute. So cute. <laughs> That's cute. And then, of course, you got some jean jackets. Baby Bugash, three to six months. It's so cute. It's like $7. Like, this probably would have been like $30 at the store. And I love a good blue jean jacket. So we got like a dark one. And we got a light one. So she got to keep up with mama. Because I have about... <laughs> I got about six blue jean jackets. And you know what? I love all of them. Because I love blue jeans. And they go with everything. And these little pants we got. Little cheetah pants. These are cute. My baby's going to be unique and stylish. On a budget, of course. Got this little daddy's girl. Because I believe that she's going to be a big daddy's girl. We were speaking to the lady that checked this out. Oh, and this was a dollar fifty. It was on clearance, so calculate a dollar fifty. Fifty percent off of that is what? I need to find out how to do like <laughs> little effects on my screen. Seventy five cents. So that was seventy five cents. So she can wear that in the winter time or just lounging around in the house. Anyways, back to the story. We was the lady that checked this out. She said she had a little girl first that she's two years old and she's a complete daddy's girl. Complete daddy's girl. And that's what I believe that baby Penelope is going to be. A daddy's, daddy's girl. We shall see though. She says that her baby gives her attitude. Wants to always be with daddy. <laughs> She'll tell her something. Tell her to go do something. She'd be like, no. <laughs> She'd be like, no. And then she'll go ask her daddy. And daddy be like, you can go do it. You can have it, baby. And I feel like that's going to be the rest of my life. And then she says she has a little boy. And the little boy loves her to death. Just be right there all the time with her. That's how I feel a, a boy is going to be with us. Our goal, children-wise, is going to be two babies. It depends on how this one goes and then how we fill in the baby out. And if we're really ready for a second kid. Because this is a major step right here. Jesus. Y'all pray for us. Pray for all the new mamas and new papas out there. Excuse me. I'm short on my breath. Ooh, you showed us the breath is kicking my ass. When I go outside, it's even worse. It's 100 degrees today. And for the past three or four days, it's been getting up to about 104 degrees. So this one says Mini Boss. This was on clearance too, $1.50. Cute. And then my husband picked these out. These are too cute. <laughs> These were three fifty. Got the little detail on the bottom. Oshkosh, but guys, these are six months. This is so small. <laughs> these are so small, but they're so cute. I'm surprised he picked these out. 
<laughs> it's gonna be super protective of the baby, I know. These are little cheetah leggings. These are cute. Pair that with like a onesie, should be good to go. I think what else we need would be like socks. More socks, a little more hats. We have some, but I think she needs more. Because socks disappear, even as an adult. I'm like, where are my socks at? I just bought a brand new pack of socks. And they just disappear. They say the dryer eats, eats them. <laughs> I don't know. But this, that's one thing I realized that just disappears. Got some more little Daisy Dukes. These are cute with the little details on the bottom. And these are zero to three months. So these look about the same size though. These look, these. The zero to three months look bigger than six months, right? We shall see. And then this is a little shopping cart cover. So when I do, when I am able to venture out into the world of baby, we can have some protecting over the cart. Hopefully, all this corona business will subside and disappear. But I don't think it is. Because people are still so nasty. So we're going to just try to stay as protected as we can be. Oh, and here's another little swallow thing. This one is an easy one. Just a zip up. <laughs> I picked this out and my husband was like, it's like a little stray jacket. I said like, they're all like little stray jackets. She'll be fine. We'll try that out and see how she likes it. And this one is so small too. So do more. That's cute. And then we do, we did get some books. We're stacking up on her book collection, her little library. We already have some books here. Mm -hmm. So we'll be reading to her at night or any time of the day. So she can be aware of, you know, new words, sounds, feels, you know, everything. We got some Dr. Seuss books. What is this? Storytellers, baby sign language, baby signs to let us know when she's hungry, needs some more milk, water. I think these are so cool. When she wants more food, you know, all done. <laughs> Uh, dog, cat, you know, it hurts. Help me. Because you can never know what a baby needs. Mommy, daddy. We want to be called mama and papa. That's what we'll teach our baby to call us by. And then also we got Dumbo and Ratatouille, Sweet Dreams, and Happy to Help. And these are all like $1.50. Some days they have sales on like the toys and the toys and the books and the things like that. So they'll probably be the fifty percent off. Or sometimes they have seventy percent off sales, which are which is good. We go to two of them. One we go to in Mesquite and one the one we went to yesterday was in Carrollton. The one in Mesquite oh things gonna go out. The one in Mesquite 